everybody. Hi. It is a beautiful late afternoon in July in southern Spain. And I'm finding this potting up of my Orsterelia Schweinfortiana extremely therapeutic. I've got the birds chirping in the background. Everything is relatively peaceful and quiet, which is nice. But what I wanted to say, thank you very much for joining me. Really appreciate it. I'm currently just going through the root system, as you can see, of my new orchid from Africa, from Afri orchids. She can go into a pot. I don't have to baby her anymore. She's had her CalMag soaks. But what I'm finding about this root system is that it is extremely fleshy. Very, very interesting. So this is not like a typical epidendrum, what it used to be called, Schweinfortiana. This is clearly maybe something to do with the name change. You can see the growth habit is also a bit of a bamboo style. It's very, very beautiful. I love it. I hope I get the culture right to see the blooms, but if I don't, and it just grows well as a plant as such, then I'm just gonna love this orchid. Well, going to, I already love her. But back to the root system. Very, very gentle. They, it is like a zygopetalum root. So this orchid may actually end up dumping all the roots, even though I'm being super careful, simply because they are as brittle, they crack easily, they're very, very fleshy, super interesting, I must say. And that is why I'm cutting back to the cracks, not exactly all the way into the live tissue. I don't want to expose live tissue to anything water. But you see, she came with a base all around her was sphagnum moss. So that tells me she needs a lot of water. And in my climate, I don't have humidity. I know that bamboo style plants in general love a lot of humidity. I don't have a lot of humidity all year round. I would prefer to have more, but I'm going to be potting her up into Lekka and self watering to be able to give her the exact amount of water requirements because I believe this one is extremely thirsty. And we will have to wait and see if that is correct. But just judging by the roots, it has a terrestrial feel to it, which is going to be great for Lekka and self watering. So I'm not going to be fiddling around too much more. I have a, still quite a few roots with cracks in them, but I do want something for anchoring. And she's going to go in quite a large pot so I don't have to disturb her again for a considerable amount of time. That is the plan. And the beauty of this one, there's another one. Let me just show you. There's another dead root here, but the beauty of this orchid, not just the funky 70s bloom combination of hot pink, possibly orange, maybe bronze, but she's growing a new growth. That is why I want to get her into a pot ASAP to be able to get new roots to grow in as soon as they start popping out because I do not have any idea at this point when new roots will grow on this orchid. I thought I saw a little nubbin somewhere else. Oh, there are some swellings down in the base right there. So that's positive as well. That could be another lead, which is great. But yeah, super interesting root system. Also reminds me of the Osseocleta spathulifera, those kinds of roots, almost succulent-like. But if you don't have Osseocleta spathulifera, zygopetalum roots come to mind the minute I had these hydrated and saw how they responded to water. I'm like, okay, you guys are brittle, sensitive, and shouldn't be disturbed for as long as possible. That is why this is all the trimming she's going to get. And that is also why she's going to go in this 20 centimeter pot straight away. It looks exaggerated. It looks 
huge, but this is where she's going with large lecker. So I'm going to get my lecker and we are going to pot her up. We're going to be super gentle with this repot. I believe that this is the way to go with this orchid and I hope that I can, I've got it right. I know that our temperatures now here in southern Spain are beautiful, balmy, not hot, not cold, should work really well. I can get my support to stay straight. It probably won't last, but I need to get that loop to float. Adding leca when there is water in the pot is one of the gentlest methods of repotting. I'm using this now with every repot, whether I have sensitive roots or not. You'd think I was cooking up something in here with the amount of bubbling it's doing, <laughs> a little bit exaggerated. But what you can't see now, but maybe you can right here, I've got the loop to float a little bit because when I pour my base lecker in, I want that lecker to go underneath the loop. In the pot, I actually have my seaweed and CalMag mixture. And the reason I'm still applying that is because I do not have this orchid very long. So she has maybe had about two soaks with it as opposed to what other orchids get, which is almost like a week or two weeks, but I'm not going to wait with this orchid much longer. I want to get her potted up. And the dunk and dry that I do to rehab orchids that come in new, it, it can't be happened with these very, very sensitive roots. All right, so I've got Lekka under that loop. That is great. Maybe you can see a touch of green in there. Let's get the orchid in. Actually, before we do that, no jiggling. Before we do that, we're going to put a support wire around already just to be ready and not move the orchid too much once she is already in the pot. I'm going to keep her as stable as possible. And I'm going to put her up right into the middle. Hopefully, we eventually we'll get another lead, another growth lead. And then we're going to gently fill up with lecker around her. In this pot, I have two microfibers, and yes, I have large lecker. The roots themselves are large. I don't want the pot to lose aeration too soon. If I am correct about what I know about this orchid, she is extremely vigorous, and that is why she is like in a, looks to be an oversized pot. But when the roots start to grow and they're this size, that is why I use large lecker and a larger pot, because I really don't want to have to disturb her for two years if all goes well. Of course, if something has to be checked and there's an intervention because you can see a decline, we will go in and have a look-see. But at this point, I have two microfibers in order to allow for a lot, a lot of water being able to wick up into the pot and large lecker, guaranteeing oxygen exchange in the pot. If I were to use small lecker, then I wouldn't have as much liberty because the roots would fill that space very, very quickly. So large leca it is, large fleshy roots, and lots of lots of flushing coming up. I'm going to cover the exposed roots with some of the leca just to make sure that they don't dry out. In my opinion, her biggest stress was no access to any kind of water during travel. So if she can survive that right now, and these roots can just tide her over until this little new growth kicks into action with new root growth, then we should be absolutely okay with this orchid. And as far as I can see, a new growth shows me that she is not necessarily out of season. So I'm hopeful that this orchid is going to absolutely love its new home. In the reservoir, I have calcium, magnesium, and seaweed. 
at 100 parts per million, 40 parts per million of seaweed, 60 parts per million of calcium at 6.3 pH. She's a beautiful orchid. If I get this right, we are in for a treat and in for a monster. I hope you found this video somewhat interesting. It looks like a simple, straightforward repot. I just like doing repots with you in mind and also especially when I see funky roots and orchids that are not so common on the internet. And if you do grow this orchid, you have experience with Orstodella schweinfortiana, please let me know your experience in the comments below. Have you had it flower for you? All these kinds of things, I'd be very interested. She is gorgeous. Look at this leaf structure. Love it. Oh, and let me get in just a little bit closer. Let me just show you one more thing. Sorry about the jiggle. Look at this. Look at, look at the canes. They're amazing. They have like a structure. There's a little bit of a sandpapery texture to them. Yeah, they're amazing. And they're still growing. We haven't reached terminal leaf yet. Fantastic. Thank you everybody so very much for watching. Your time is super appreciated. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Hope to see you in the next video. Take care and be safe. Bye.